It's a good day for Lynette Veres. Today was my six month MRI and follow-up appointment and my scan is stable. In 1998, Veras was diagnosed with an aggressive cancerous brain tumor called glioblastoma or GBM just a couple years after her grandmother died from the same cancer. When I was told I was diagnosed, I said I can't die, I have kids. And I was literally, it was just I can't die. I thought I was going to have it taken out and go back to work, and that was not the case. After multiple surgeries and rounds of chemo and radiation therapy, Veras has gone 26 years without a relapse, overcoming the odds stacked against her. The median survival for all these patients, all comers today, is around 16 months, and that's where it was 20, 30 years ago as well. Dr. Nadur Sinai is hoping to extend the survival time for GBM patients by a few months with the help of a new drug called Niraparib. He says the Ivy Brain Tumor Center at Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix is the first in the world with phase three clinical trials on the new drug. And the first patient is from Arizona. It's what's called a targeted therapy. So instead of having a general effect, it goes very specifically after certain molecular mechanisms. And what that means is that it's more precise in how it's targeting tissue. The center started its first phase of the trials in 2021 and is now in the beginning of the final phase before requesting FDA approval for wider use. Although it's not a cure, he says the drug looks promising at helping treat the deadly cancer as a chronic disease. So at the Ivy Center, we understand the cards that these patients are being dealt. We're trying to play these hands as aggressively as possible back at it. There's hope and hope never grows old. And Dr. Nassai says 10 other countries will be starting clinical trials on the drug in a few weeks and 30 more sites for the clinical trials will be opening in the U.S. very soon. And the final trials at the Ivy Center could wrap up in 2026 and then it will wait for FDA approval if things mm -hmm. go well. I like her statement, hope never grows old. Mm -hmm. So if it is approved by the FDA, what does this treatment look like? So I asked Dr. Nassai and he says it will be pill form and basically it's going to be like a daily multivitamin. You're mm -hmm. going to take it every day um, for a few weeks, a few months or longer if needed. But he says that this is actually uh, going to be used as an alternative to chemotherapy mm -hmm. for many wow. of the patients. And as we know, chemotherapy can be really tough on a phys of the physical body mm -hmm. as well for folks. So so that would also be another alternative to that. Yeah, the research gives us hope and her story gives us hope alone. Yes, 26 yes. years, you yeah. rarely hear that. Hopefully many yes. more of those cases yeah. in the years to come. Thanks, Casey. Thank you.